Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. So as you can see from the title of this video, in this video we will solve another question on the topic of algebra and this question is a two part question. Now the question is as follows, a ball is dropped from a height of 81 meters, each time it strikes the ground it rebounds to two thirds the distance through which it last fell. Part A of the question is, find the total distance that the ball travels when it reaches the topmost position after the fourth bounce. Part B of the question is, find also the total distance that the ball travels before coming to the rest. So this was our two part question on the topic of algebra and I would like you to try this question first by yourself and then come to this video for the solution. I hope that I have tried the question and you have got the solution and if you didn't then let's check the solution. So according to a given question, a ball is dropped from a height of 81 meters to the ground. So let us first draw our ground and let us assume that this is our ball and the distance from here to the ground is equal to 81 meters. Now according to our given question, the ball rebounds after striking from the ground. So let us take that after striking the ground, the ball comes to this position and this position is equal to the two third of the last distance through which it fell. Now if the first distance of first bounce is equal to 81 meter, so after the first bounce, the ball will reach up to a height of 81 into 2 by 3 that is equal to 54 meters. Now according to our given question, it is not mentioned that the ball is moving forward but it should be considered that the ball is at a same position but to understand this question in a better way, let us assume that the ball is moving forward. So we have taken that the ball is moving forward. Now it will fall from the height of 54 meter only and over here it will have its second bounce. Now again it will rise after striking but it will also rise up to the two third of the previous distance which is now 54 meters. So now it will rise up to a height of 54 into 2 by 3 that is equal to 36 meters. Now we have to calculate that what will be the total distance when the ball strikes the ground for the fourth time and reaches to the topmost position after it. So if this is the second strike, this will be the third strike. This will be the topmost position after the third strike. This will be the fourth bounce and this will be the final result that we have to calculate. So this is our third strike. This is our fourth strike until here we have to calculate the sum of the distances. Now if this is 36, this is also 36 and this is 54, this is also 54. So we have got 81, 54, 54, 36, 36 and now we have got 36 then it will reach up to a height of 36 into 2 by 3 that is equal to 24. So this height is equal to 24. So this height is also equal to 24 and after 24 the final height that we have to calculate is equal to 24 into 2 by 3 that is equal to 16. So according to the part A of our question we have to calculate the total sum of 81 plus 2 into 54 plus 2 into 36 plus 2 into 24 plus 16. Now upon calculation this distance will come as 325 meter. So when the ball strikes for the fourth time and reaches the maximum point that is this point, the total distance that it has traveled is equal to 325 meters which is the answer for the part A of the question. Now we could have used the formula but to understand the concept of this problem, we have to use the manual calculation so that whenever we have to calculate in a more strike distance, then we could have used the formula or if the distance is complicated or if the question is a bit more complicated then we can solve it manually as well. So let's solve the next part of the question. So let's solve our part B of the question. Now we have used the same setup for our part B as well because it will follow the same pattern only. Now according to our part B of the question we have to calculate the total distance the ball will travel before coming to a rest. Now we don't know that how many bounces the ball will take before coming to a rest. So let us assume that it will take infinite number of bounces. Now whenever we know that a case of infinity appears, usually we use the formula of GP and this question is also following the GP pattern because the first term is 81, the second is 54, then we have got 36, then 24, then 16. So A is equal to 81 and R is equal to 2 by 3. Now we know that when we have to calculate the sum of an infinite GP, it is equal to a by 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is the common ratio. So according 
to our question a is equal to 81 and r is equal to 2 by 3. So we have got sum of the gp as 81 by 1 minus 2 by 3 that is equal to 243. Now we have calculated the distance for only downward portion or upward portion but the ball is going up and down as well. So we have to multiply it with 2 so our answer is coming out as 486. But if you look carefully this is still not the correct answer because we are taking the ball is going downwards from 81 but it is not rising again to 81 so we have taken 81 twice. So we have to subtract 81 from 486 so that is equal to 486 minus 81 which is equal to 405 meters and this is our final answer for part B of the question. So before coming to the rest the ball will travel a total distance of 405 meters which is the answer for the part B of the question. That was all for this video and I hope that you understood all the topics covered in this video and if you have any doubt then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve your doubt as soon as possible. Or you can go to the official website of ASEAN Academy and you can send your doubts to us from there and all the links are provided down in the description. And if you did like the video then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel ASEAN Academy. Oh, 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 oh,